This conference will now be recorded. So, first initial 5, 10, 10, 15 minutes, I will speak. If you have any questions, you can discuss with me later. Okay. Twenty eighth June, twenty three. So, Microsoft, Microsoft Dynamics three sixty five F and O. Microsoft Dynamics three sixty five F and O Finance and Operations. This product you are going to learn. If you want to learn this Microsoft Dynamics 365 F and O, <clears throat> this is finance session. I'm teaching now finance. <clears throat> this is finance session. Now that in India it is 7 a.m. IST. In India it is 7 a.m. IST to 8 a.m. IST. The training will be 7 a.m. to 10 8 a.m. IST. So if you want to learn this application, if you want to learn this application, first you need to understand domain knowledge or functional knowledge. Domain knowledge or functional knowledge you should know. Next, little technical knowledge. Little technical knowledge. Next, you need to understand ERP concepts. ERP concepts. Next, you need to understand how to operate. How to operate Dynamic 365. Dynamic 365, how to operate. Next, you need to have some interview technique. So, to learn all these things, to learn all these things, what are the qualification required means, if you complete 10th standard, that is enough. If you complete 10th standard, that is enough. I can teach you all these things. Along with this one, if you want to learn, you need to understand commerce knowledge. Commerce knowledge. Okay. So, these skills are, I will teach. Commerce knowledge, domain knowledge. Here, domain knowledge or functional knowledge means real-time scenario. Real time scenarios you need to do. So, here, what, where, just give me one minute, please. Yeah, hi, we cannot hear any voice actually. Am I audible to you? Yes, yes, no. Okay, fine. So, you are going to learn all these skills I'm going to teach you. Okay, so what, where, which, when, and why. If you have questions, then it is real time scenarios real time scenarios it is domain knowledge or functional knowledge domain knowledge or functional knowledge means all are real time scenarios you are going to learn in my teaching 60% will be 60% will be this focus on this one and 40% will be here how to operate the product i mean to say ERP, if you want to practice how to operate. 
So 40% focus will be this one and 60% this one. Okay, that is the reason it will take for me like 9 to 10 weeks, around 10 weeks it will take to learn this application, around 10 weeks, means two and a half months. And it is around 60 hours. If it is in hours, it is around 60 hours I am going to teach you. These are all skills I will teach you. So, commerce knowledge means I am not going to teach the entire accounting functionality. I am not going to teach all. But I will teach you the difference between debit and credit. The difference between debit and credit. Suppose you are a BCom graduate. You are not a BCom graduate. If you are a BCom graduate, you know debit and credit. But if you are a science background, BTEC graduate, you don't know finance. You don't know commerce. Then if you know the difference between positive and negative, that is enough. Positive and negative. If you know about the difference between positive and negative, suppose I'm telling like minus 2000 plus 500. So if you combine, what happens? If you are confusing, then you cannot learn finance. If you want to learn finance, you should know about debit or credit. Otherwise, false to negative. This is enough if you want to learn dynamics finance session. Okay. So, along with this one, along with this one, if you want to get a job, more skills required to get a job. You have to have a good communication skill. So, good communication skills means you may not be expert in English vocabulary, but you should speak whatever you are speaking, the opposite person should be able to understand. The opposite person should be able to understand whatever you are speaking. Next, education qualification. Here, I told you to learn this application, 10th standard is enough. But if you want to get a job in Accenture or TCS, you need to have either BCom graduate, BTEC, BSc, RBA, BBA, MBA, any qualification is required. Next, practicing with system. Practicing with the system. Next, opportunity in the market. So these skills are in your hand. I am going to ex make you expertise in this area. If you do practice whatever I said, if you do practice, then you can learn this application. This is for learning. And in addition to that one, you have to have these skills to get into your job. To get into your job. Okay. So. I will teach with the transactions first, then I will teach masters, then I will teach setups, and I will teach configurations. Next, I will teach parameters, then I will teach legal entity creation. Legal entity creation means company creation. Company creation. Next, I will do config parameters and I will do setups and configurations. Then I will do masters. Next, I will do transactions. So, this is indirectly a sample project. A sample project you are going to practice. This is a sample project creation process. I will explain you one time, but you need to practice minimum to minimum 20 to 25 times. 20 to 25 times you need to practice. Okay. As I told you, the timing is morning 7 to 8 a.m. IST, Indian Standard Time. 
now it is in india it is 715 okay it will be around two and a half months like it is six like 10 weeks so in terms of weeks it is 10 weeks in terms of months it is uh, two and a half months in terms of hours it is 60 hours 10 weeks is 50 actually okay actually it is 50 but like it is 7 to 8 for few days around 10 days around 10 days you need to join 6 to 8 am ist because i will combine both finance and tndl for few, for few days so i will combine both this is finance and this is trade and logistics trade and logistics is 6 to 7 and finance is 7 to 8 for 10 days around 7 to 8 days or 9 days i will combine both 6 to 8 i will combine both batches into one batch 6 to 8 for few days only so i will teach you both uh, common intersection between these two i need to explain you okay fine for fine so regarding environment uh, access the application access so trial version i will share trial version this will be valid for two hours only after that it will be refreshed and you need to log in once again trial version will be shared with you mostly on saturday or sunday or monday so once you paid fee you will uh, get that uh, link in whatsapp group i will share you this two hours trial, like uh, trial version otherwise if you want the permanent link so you can approach Rajashekar. You can approach Rajashekar. Here it is 94942. Give me a second. Remember. I will not remember these numbers. 54826. So you can approach this guy. So you can get six months validity link. Six months validity link, but this will be a charge around uh, uh, around four to five thousand rupees. Four to five thousand Indian rupees you need to pay. Then you will get this link from Rajshaker. Otherwise, if you have a high-end configuration laptop, so minimum sixteen GB, minimum sixteen GB or thirty-two GB RAM. If you have a good laptop, you can ask Rajshaker to install. He will charge money some money and he will install in your laptop okay fine any questions please any questions okay i hope no questions so give me a minute Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, Satya, I just wanted to ask one thing. Uh, if, when you provide that link, then that configuration need not to be there, the higher configuration. If my, not, I'm having no laptop with the lower, the link so, will work on this my laptop also. Yes. So if it is these two, one is a trial version for two hours for Raj Shaker six months validity you are purchasing. These two links. It is independent of your laptop for performance. This is for third option. This is scenario one. Any laptop it will work. This is also any laptop it will work. This one is definitely if you want to install in your laptop, then it is required. So this is my laptop. It is already there, this application. This is 32 GB RAM laptop. So I can work easily. This is installed in my local system this is my installed in my local system so it will be easy i can do it this is 32 gb ram laptop okay for these two laptops it is even it is 8 gb ram also enough 8 gb ram also nowadays minimum any laptop is 8 gb ram so any any laptop is fine you can discuss with this guy rajeshekar so you can uh, uh, he will suggest you he will guide you yeah, whether I have given answer to your question, please. Yes, thank you. Yeah, welcome.
fine now yes yes please now i'm proceeding if any questions please interrupt me at any point of time you can interrupt me okay so now we are going to learn finance okay so in the finance module you are going to learn general ledger accounts payable accounts receivable cash and bank management fixed assets taxes taxation credit and collections and consolidation and budget all these things you are going to learn finance okay so let me minimize so you are going to join in a software company once you learn this application properly what you will do you are going to join in a software company so that is maybe accenture maybe tcs maybe infosys hitachi wipro there are so many so many company software companies are there in that company you are going to join once you joined in this company you are going to work for a project if you are discussing with your friends is it project is allocated or not project is allocated or not they the, they will ask you that means you are going to work for a project that project is called client okay this software companies are called microsoft partner companies these companies are called microsoft partner companies and you are working for a project that project is called client okay what this client will do they will purchase the material they will sell the material so this purchasing and selling will be a topic from trade and logistics now for whatever you are purchasing you need to sell, you need to collect money from the from the uh, from the customer you need to collect money from the customer and you need to pay money to the vendor so you need to pay money to the vendor that is need to pay money so pay that is accounts payable you are going to understand accounts payable module and you are selling material to the customer so you need to receive money from the customers you need to receive money from the customers so for that you need to understand accounts receivable module so you are going to learn accounts payable module accounts receivable module payable means you are paying money to the vendor and you are receiving money from the customer so you need to understand accounts payable module you need to understand accounts receivable module and then cash and bank because if you want to do payment or if you want to receive money majority businesses they will do through check or electronic fund transfer so majority still they will use checks so if you want check means cash and bank management module you need to understand next if you are doing business you need to understand profit and loss account so that profit and loss account you can understand from general ledger module and if you are running your business you need to pay tax so you need to understand tax module and if you have multiple companies you need to do consolidation what is this consolidation you will understand later consolidation and if you are running your business you will have buildings you will have laptops you will have furniture and everything that is fixed assets and budgeting so you are going to learn accounts payable module accounts receivable module cash and bank management general ledger tax module consolidation fixed assets budgeting credit and collections these all are sub modules from finance so in finance in finance you are going to learn accounts payable accounts receivable cash and bank fixed assets tax credit and collections consolidation general ledger budgeting all these modules you are going to learn in the coming sessions okay so if you want to understand any business i mean to say if you want to understand erp even though you are working in a software company you need to imagine you are running a business you are running a business 
you need to imagine like you are purchasing mobiles and you are selling mobiles for that you are collecting money from the customers and you are paying money to the customers sorry vendors so four transactions one is vendor invoice next vendor payment next customer invoice customer payment or customer receipt so in the system it is customer payment from the customer you are receiving money but customer is paying money so these four transactions we need to understand because you are receiving material along with this material you are receiving invoice how much amount i need to pay to the vendor how much amount i need to pay to the vendor here i paid money to the vendor and now customer invoice means you are generating invoice and you are giving to the customer like you need to pay this much money you are giving you are giving instructions to the vendor for customer you need to pay this much money for this material and you are receiving money from the customer that means customer is paying money to you so you are receiving invoice you are paying money to the vendor you are giving you are providing material to the customer and you are receiving money from the customer <coughs> these four transactions we need to understand vendor invoice vendor payment customer invoice customer payment if you are running business these four transactions are mandatory these four transactions are mandatory okay and if you want to understand as i told you if you want to understand finance you have to have knowledge on commerce you have to have commerce knowledge so simple simple commerce is very simple one is positive another one is negative so positive means your money negative means you need to pay money negative means you need to pay money so you are receiving material from the vendor you are receiving material from the vendor so you need to pay money to the vendor am i right you need to pay so vendor account will be credited in telugu it is appu in telugu it is appu wo oh. so we have to pay money to the vendor at the time of invoice okay now if it is a vendor payment if it is a vendor payment then i will do money from my cash my money will be going out at the time of vendor invoice i need to pay money to the vendor so vendor will be credited now if you are doing payment means your money is going out from the cash if it is a customer invoice customer account will be debited customer account will be debited the reason behind you need to collect money from the customer and it is customer receipt means customer receipt means my cash or bank balance will be increased here my cash balance is increasing here my bank my cash balance or bank balance will be decreasing as i told you positive debit means positive debit means positive credit means negative simple credit means negative so here you are receiving money from the 
customer in terms of bank or cash. Here, you need to receive money from the customer. Vendor invoice means I need to pay money to the vendor. And I have paid money. So if I paid money, my cash balance or bank balance will be decreased. So these four transactions, I will teach you another two weeks every day. It is not a complex, it is simple. It is a very simple commerce. So if you are clear about the positive and negative, that is enough. Yeah. Any questions on this point? Any questions from anyone? Any confusions, any questions about this one? Yeah, that... Uh... This is Samaraju. So, correct me if I'm wrong. So, debit is positive or negative, sir? Debit is positive, Paka. Okay, okay, sir. So, so we, uh, in, your uh, mind, yeah. in your mind, what is the confusion? I will give you clarifications. Give me a minute. Okay. So balance sheet, it is assets is debit and liabilities it is credit. <clears throat> In PNL side, it is coming from this side to this side. Then it is like a credit means it is your money. It is quite opposite behavior. Here expense is debit. In this PNL side. I want more credit because this is uh, like margin X plus something is equal to Y. This something if it is moving from this side to this side, it will become negative. So in balance sheet side, I want more positive, more debit. In p &L side, more negative. Here you want more positive assets. I want more rather than liability. Agree with me? Yes. So assets is debtors and the liabilities are creditors. This is minus value. But this minus, if it is moving from this side to this side, it is becoming debit. And this positive, it is moving from this side to this side. It is credit. So always trial balance is equal to balance sheet plus profit and loss account should be zero. So balance sheet side asset, it is profit is minus. It will show you in minus credit. So you are going to learn this next week to at least two weeks. You will understand very clearly about this sort of accounts. Whatever you have studied in your commerce, there is a lot of confusion because the lecturers don't have ERP experience. So I'm not blaming here lecturers. Lecturers don't have ERP experience. They will explain. It will confuse you a lot. You have theoretically by hearted the process. Now you are understanding practically with ERP experience. So debit means positive. Debit means positive because debtors, assets are debit balances and it is called debtors. Debtors are positive values. Agree? Yes. Creditors are negative. Credit means negative. So I am going to teach you about accounting rules. The golden rules. Golden rules. What is this golden rules? Three golden rules. Can anyone start? Personal accounts. Personal account. Nominal debit account. the receiver, credit the giver. So personal accounts, it is debit the receiver. Debit the receiver, credit the giver. Credit the giver. Next. Next, what is that? Real accounts. Real accounts. 
what is that david david what comes in create what goes out david what comes in create what goes create out what next third rule nominal account nominal accounts debit all expenses and debit loss all the all expenses, expenses and losses credit uh, all income income and all incomes all the incomes and gains am i right here yes. debit the receiver debit the receiver you can add for understanding purpose material receiver for your understanding purpose i am adding for the rule golden rule the material receiver who is the material receiver who is the material receiver here customer customer so customer account is debit the giver who is the giver for us the material i'm adding material okay the giver who is giving to us vendor vendor so vendor account credit now what comes in here what comes in money here money or cash so what comes in it is debit cash is coming from the customer it is cash or bank will be money is coming out it is debit what goes out my money is going out whenever i am doing vendor payment so these four rules are this i have added small amendment to the golden rule i cannot i am not a uh, like a finance expert i am not a chartered accountant or i am not a top position but for understanding purpose i have modified little bit the material receiver the material giver the money comes in what comes in what goes out and here it is all expenses it is opposite behavior debit is losses debit is losses the debit is losses here and income is in credit income and credit so expenses are losses it is debit and all incomes or revenue is credit credit so it is balance sheet this side profit and loss account this side so this from this side debit to here it is coming it is revenue credit so at any point of time debit plus credit zero so now at the time of invoice you learned first is expenses expenses account debit card to expenses account debit card to vendor account credit you have learned at the time of vendor invoice expenses account debit card to vendor account credit that's what here expenses account debit card to vendor account the giver the material giver vendor account credit here you are paying money to the vendor, to the bank sorry through bank you are paying money to the vendor so my money is going out what goes out the money is going out through cash or bank next customer account get add to revenue account credit so the income gain is in credit and customer account get add to revenue account credit and customer payment means we are receiving money from the bank what comes in so in the bank my balance will be increased okay anyhow you will understand this commerce it will take some time but so many doubts will be cleared so many doubts about debits and credits will be cleared let me show you in the system okay 
let me go to the system so i'm closing this application so i can click on browser and you need to enter username and password so if you want to access this environment what you have to use one is the web link web link next username and password with this one you can open this environment so in client environment whenever you are joining in a software company you will have you will be provided one web link and username and password with this one you will open the application once it is opened you will find dat company dat company but I, as i told you you are going to work for a client called usmf company as i told you you are going to work for a project that project is called usmf company the client the project is also called client the client is company name is usmf company so you need to go to usmf company you need to go to usmf company so in this usmf company accounts payable module collapse all invoices vendor invoice journal you need to click on new button you need to click on new button you need to select the journal name you need to select the journal name how to do this journal name i will explain you this is a configuration you are going to learn configurations so let me go back so as i told you you are going to learn configurations so that is the journal name how to create this is one function you need to understand this you will understand later configurations so i have selected journal name click on lines button or click on this journal batch number or click on lines button anyone is fine <coughs> date is coming automatically and select the vendor select the vendor and you need to enter the invoice date invoice date invoice number invoice number and you are purchasing suppose you are purchasing uh, a4 stationery you are purchasing a4 stationery so for this i need to pay 20 dollars it is vendor account credit vendor account credit vendor account credit so i have entered vendor account then offset account is debit expenses so click on save then it will show you 20 debit 20 credit next post button then if you go to the voucher you will understand expenses account data to vendor account credit here 20 dollars it is expenses office expenses account data to vendor account credit vendor account credit actually i have selected vendor account number 1001 acme office supplies if i go to voucher it is showing 200100 110 110 110 it is not showing that one so for that i need to explain you one concept called ERP concept. One ERP concept I will explain you. Ledger sub ledger concept. Later you will understand ledger versus sub ledger. Okay, one ERP concept you need to understand. That you will understand later. So this is expenses account data to expenses account data to vendor balance account credit vendor balance account that is here it is accounts payable are sundry creditors pure commerce word sundry creditors okay accounts payable is also called sundry creditors mm -hmm. are creditors that account it is post let me show you quickly once again how to do it so i'm closing this application 
you need to click on the browser and you need to click on the link you need to enter the link and username and password then the application will open with the company called dat company this is provided by microsoft dat company okay uh, and then you are going to work for usmf company the client name is usmf so you are going to usmf company sample data provided by microsoft usmf company you need to go to accounts payable module accounts payable module collapse all invoices invoice journal invoice journal okay just a minute okay invoice journal you can select the invoice journal you can click on new button and you can select the journal name you can select the journal name okay once you click you can click on lines button or you can click on here anyone is fine and select the vendor select the vendor and you are purchasing some material like uh, invoice date is mandatory invoice date and invoice number so invoice date is not mandatory invoice number is mandatory this number because you have received invoice copy from the vendor that number you need to enter invoice date is not mandatory but best practices so you have purchased suppose tissue papers or water bottles for your employees you are arranging water bottles for that it is 50 dollars now expenses account if you click on save <coughs> so here it will be posted expenses account data to vendor account credit this is vendor account credit. now you can click on post button okay if you verify the voucher okay here it is expenses account data to expenses account data to vendor account credit so that is here you understood expenses account data to vendor account credit because i need to pay money because the giver the material giver the material giver is a credit so it is so debit means positive credit means negative yeah any questions please any confusion any questions so even though you are interested in only finance my suggestion is try to join this also for tomorrow session trade and logistics also you can join both sessions you can join today tomorrow and after tomorrow anyhow today it is over tomorrow and after tomorrow like 29th and 30th you can join for both because you are getting links two links this is TNL and this is finance. You can join for both. Later you can take the decision which one you want to continue. So from Monday onwards, oh. whoever is paid fee, those will be allowed. Yes, please. Yeah. Trade and logistics include supply chain and manufacturing, or what is that? What in what is trade and logistics include? So it is a part of SCM. SCM means it is trade and logistics means procurement and sourcing, sales and marketing, product information management inventory management bill of materials inventory closing inventory uh, like intercompany stock transfer and advanced inventory management you will understand all these things and master planning also master planning also mrp okay these are okay, M -M 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 mrp is there you say that sorry yeah mrp mrp M -M also will include yeah. yeah it is there Okay. Um, okay. All right. All right. Okay. So Thank next you. warehouse That's management. It is warehouse management. One more batch. It will be eight to nine session. It will be advanced warehouse management, transportation management, landed cost, and advanced inventory management. All these things you will learn in warehouse management. And this is eight to nine session, and uh, 
in the weekend 6 to 8 30 manufacturing i will teach manufacturing means discrete manufacturing process manufacturing lean manufacturing master planning cost management and time management so all these things you are going to learn so once this batch is completed in a manufacturing i will teach pme also so this is weekends only either one this one or this one one batch only i can run these two are like a finance t and l and warehouse management it is every day monday to friday yeah uh in these Thank finance you. sessions uh hmm. only 310 is going to be teach or how means uh, 300 is not going to be teaching no no it is a complete separate sessions 300 because in 310 suppose some workflows i will show you some little bit workflow but not in depth data management i will show you some sample data but i cannot teach all these things i will not so how about 300 so 300 i am not teaching so you need to go through yourself if someone else is teaching so i have a knowledge on this one but i don't have time the problem is i am not able to find the time because if i am teaching manufacturing people will approach me i i want to learn pma please tell, let me know let me know if i am teaching this one people will approach me this one so i have already i am conducting five sessions so i am also working employee so i cannot teach remaining i am not able to find the time that is the main problem so so uh, some other student is asking 300 is an is including all of them right touching all of them the other part yeah, that's why you are not so you are solely solely focus on 310 which is more deep diving in a finance part yeah yeah right yeah hi yeah, good morning uh, yeah. uh yes, i currently am working as a business uh, business central uh, consultant so mm -hmm. uh, can i prefer for the this uh, course uh, for 310 and 330 and 340 because mm -hmm. the application screens and the uh, the uh, everything is different the uh, yeah. total interface uh, mm -hmm. is different so how but yeah. i know that process will be the same because every mm -hmm. erp have the same process but here and there the buttons are here and there the things are here mm -hmm. here and there so it is good to uh, because i have only i have only completed my six months in uh, business central okay mm. Mm. so now what is your it question is, now yeah it is good time to it is good time to me for, to switch to business central to f and o or should i wait for uh, one year to complete so it's not like say uh, business central is also a good application but it is a small application very small application whereas f and o is a very large application so it is as i told you to to learn this application no need of uh, uh, any background i mean to say no need of any prerequisites no need of prerequisites you can learn this one from me that's what i'm telling you yeah. If you want to switch over from now or so, you can try. If parallelly, you can work with business central. You can learn parallelly this one, finance and d &L. See, these two are basics. If you want to become a finance expert, first you need to learn finance. Next, you need to learn d &L. And then Sacha, sir, good morning. Yes, please. Uh, sir, this link uh, is a permanent link, sir, to attend these classes. Is it Teams or go to some, any, I have to download that... Uh, go to app or to attend so, this class no, no hmm. see uh, this uh, link you are you are talking about go to meeting link ah yes sir yes. so this will be changed on monday okay. monday will be newly shared so whoever is interested okay. they need to pay money so they need to pay money okay. once you pay money then uh, you can get it oh. so vigil you can contact me one to one you can ping me uh, one to one visit anyhow you are and one more thing okay in yeah. that link who can record the classes also no no actually that right is now you like... now krishna prasada are you talking ah, yes sir yes sir yeah yes yeah, yeah, sir you, you are not interacting with me am i right 
Ah, yes. Some visual path so, I had spoken. Okay, oh. so then you can discuss with the institute visual path. Okay. So, so okay. once you paid fee, you will get video recording sessions. If you want video recording sessions, uh, it will be loaded okay. into one, one link and they will share with you. Okay. So, share so how, okay. how long this class is going Sir, to one more thing. One more thing. Yeah. Sir, you yeah. in the last, uh, you have explained that web link and everything. Uh, yeah. and the, how, to practice uh, uh, and you go by step by step uh, while class also is there any material provided by you sir or so while see, you teaching we need to note down so i will i will share you these documents with you i uh -huh. will share the documents okay i will share with you documents no problem so, so uh, how will you share sir group, through whatsapp, huh? WhatsApp group, okay the whatsapp group the whatsapp group will be there in the whatsapp group i will share you the documents so you can go through that mm. and video recording and session. that web yeah okay. yes please mm. and last that web yes. link username and password also it will be shared sir and trial no, version you will, you are going to give no yeah that is on monday whoever is paid fee whoever in the whatsapp okay. group i will share you the trial version for two hours only this is a temporary only oh. you need to go with okay. this one either this one or this one later on no initially later. you can use this one Okay, okay. How long it, sir? It will be 10 days or five days gap will be the trial version will be provided by you. But trial so version. What, Monday, Monday I will share you. Once two hours is over, yeah. you can log in once again. You can work. Every okay, two hours okay. it will be logged. Okay. Every two hours it will be logged. Ah, no. so log my, my main doubt is, sir, you are yeah. on the class, you are telling that go on this, go on this, go on this link. Step by step, you are giving the path. In trial yeah. version, uh, the path, where, when will we note down that path? Uh, or it will be given by you, sir, path in the material. So, so path, anyhow, I'm sharing you. Am I right? See, here I'm sharing you. With this one, you can go through that video and you can understand. Parallel, you can go through oh. video and document. You can understand and you can oh. easily understand. It's not a complex. It's not a complex. Okay, yeah? sir. Someone else is How long this class going to take? Maybe. It is two and a half months. The session will be two and a half months. Okay. So here, uh, I told you clearly, it is two and a half months. In terms of weeks, it is 10 weeks, roughly, plus or minus, and it is around 60 hours. Uh, it's only morning only, or you have a evening batches also? No, I'm a working employee. I don't have timings uh, other than these timings. So that is the reason that the challenge is for me morning only 6 to 9 a.m. So 6 to 7, 78 and 8 to 9 mornings only. I don't have, I'm working at home, so I'm not able to provide trainings in the evenings. Okay. Hello. Satya. Hi, Satya. One more thing. Hello. Yes, please. So in market we like have to... other ERP right? So how better, uh, you know, uh, Microsoft Dynamics, you know, finance. So, uh, 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 so see, Microsoft is spending a lot of money in this uh, Dynamics application because if they are selling this Dynamics, they are selling Windows operating system, they are selling SQL Server, they are selling uh, SharePoint, they are selling MS Office, everything. So Microsoft is spending a lot of money on this one. Definitely, uh, it will be, uh, I mean to say, uh, you will have a good feature in Dynamics. You will have a good feature in Dynamics. Okay, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Someone else is okay. speaking, please. Nilesh. Yes, yes. yes. Nilesh. Uh, as, as we discussed, I'm going to work or join as a functional consultant, okay? Financial mm -hmm. functional consultant in one of a company. Yeah. So, uh, I, I want to know your entire yeah. syllabus what you are covering will that uh, how much percentage of the knowledge that will cover what I, i'm going to apply over there so i'm going to deliver you around 80 to 90 percent subject whatever it is there 80 to 90 percent in that i'm excluding reports i'm okay. clearly telling you reports i'm not going to teach you but the setups and configurations you are going to learn as i told you this is like initially you are going to learn transactions master setups and configurations later you are going yeah. to learn like like this so 
uh, it is company creation process once i will teach you only one time company creation process it may take uh, 15 days 20 days time you need to create every day new company then you will become okay. stronger so that is the reason i told you practicing with the system and looking at my video recording sessions and you need to practice with the system is most important okay. yeah and as I told you, yeah. all are real-time scenarios only. I will take real-time scenarios. So I will explain the functionality. Yeah. And this crea creation of company, with, uh, I can practice for the time being on the link what you are providing for two hours. Yeah, you can try, but that one you can try, but in two hours it will be uh, like I mean to say closed, and you need to open once again, right? Okay, okay. Then if the next option will be If it is not completed in two hours, what happened? It will be locked off. Whatever you have created, it will be gone. You need to create from the start. Okay. okay. So that is and the reason. Even, the problem is yes. This one is temporary yes. purpose only. Suppose okay. you stuck and you want to show the error message to me, then okay. you cannot. Am I right? If it is a trial yes, version, sir. that is the problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And this, the uh, another one, the Raj Shekhar, what you shared number, that link will work uh, for six months, correct? In so, that every we can six work. months and it will be every 40 hours, around 40 hours, it will be refreshed, every 40 hours. So, that is not an issue. 40 hours means it is too much time. Okay. Yeah. And this, the, yeah, yeah, as yeah. you said, the companies are created uh, by default in the system, DAT company and that USMF. All those companies are by default created over there in every yeah, Microsoft uh, is new... providing this one. This is sample companies Microsoft providing already. You can use the existing companies for practice and purpose. And already Microsoft is giving. Okay. There are so many companies. Company. And even we can create new companies. Yes, yes, we can create. Okay. Exactly right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Someone else is speaking. Satya, you will cover the uh, MB300 and 310 both. No, that's what I'm telling you. I'm repeating once again and again and again here. I'm teaching 310. I'm teaching 330. 330 means it is TNL and Finance. TNL, one is TNL and one is Advanced Development. Here I have not written any time. Okay. I'm teaching this one 6 to 7, Trade and Elastics, 7 to 8, Finance, 8 to 9, Warehouse Management. These two together it is SCM and SCM manufacturing this one and PMEA. For this, we don't have certification number at this point. Microsoft is going to release this one in soon. So all these five modules I'm teaching. Middle three and these two down. So it is separate fee for each and every circle separate fee. Okay. okay. You. If you want to become a finance expert, first you need to learn finance. Next, you need to learn trade and logistics SCM. Next, you need to learn project management accounting. If you want to become an SCM expert, first you need to learn trade and logistics. Next, you need to learn WMS. Next, you need to learn manufacturing. Okay. So, with one module, you can start, or with two modules, you can start. Your wish. Okay. Yeah. Anything else, team? Anyone? Uh, hello, Satya Anup here. Yeah, Anup. Uh, yeah, for uh, you will be covering a whole P2P and O2C cycle in uh, if we are opting for uh, both this uh, yes. finance and trade and logistics, yes. right? Exactly. Right. But right. if I'm opting for if if I'm opting only for finance, you will not be covering the entire thing. I mean the O2C yeah. entire yeah. cycle or P2P entire so, cycle. So the problem is in depth you are not going to learn. That's why I told you if you want to become a finance yeah. expert, join for finance and TNL. Hello. Yeah. Give me one minute. Uh, Anup, whether I have given answer to your question? Anup? Is it clear? Hello. Yeah, yes, please. Yeah, I lost uh, the connection in between. So what I was so, asking is, like, yeah, yeah. So uh, finance expert, if you want to become a finance expert, try to join for both finance and DNT. Okay, okay, okay. Because yeah, both has interconnections. Mm. Yeah. Not hmm. for overlap between between T and L and finance. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 Someone else is speaking, please. Yeah. 
yeah someone else is speaking so one minute one is any questions in the chart so there is a lot of opportunities uh, samba raju there is a lot of opportunities when compare with other erps there are so many uh, opportunities i mean to say the required people are not there in dynamics suppose there is 100 opportunities and only uh, like 40 members 50 members are available so there is a huge demand for dynamics huge demand for dynamics whereas when compare with other erps like sap or any other erps okay fine i'm stopping here for today we'll connect once again tomorrow morning 6 a.m ist in tndl session try to join for tndl also trade and elastics also please join okay see you all bye bye yeah thank, thank you, you satya you're yeah, welcome thank you thank you thank you